The Thunderbird is a giant bird cryptid found all over America. This creature is named for the Native American mythological bird that could summon storms with its wings. Some say the mythological Thunderbird was inspired by real Thunderbirds that the native people saw drifting on storm winds. They think that Thunderbirds were most commonly seen in stormy weather because stronger than normal winds made it easier for them to stay airborne. The Thunderbird varies depending on region. The Alaskan Thunderbird is built much like an eagle. It is covered in gray or black feathers with the face of a sea eagle. Its wingspan is at least 10 feet with a reported average size of 15 feet. The Alaskan Thunderbird prefers wooded areas and will rest on large trees. It apparently prefers a diet of meat and will eat fish and small animals. The Alaskan Thunderbird tends to be shy of humans and will fly away quickly when spotted. It is an excellent flyer that soars with grace and speed. Scientists think the Alaskan Thunderbird may actually just be a very large stellar sea eagle, as those birds commonly have wingspans of 8 feet. They also are large, powerful, fast birds with dark feathers. Alaskan locals insist the Thunderbird is larger than a stellar sea eagle. They also say the Thunderbird has been sighted inland, where the stellar sea eagle lives only near the coast. The Texas or Southwestern Thunderbird, as I will call it, is very different from the Alaskan Thunderbird. Its range appears to be from Texas to California, with a heavy preference for dry areas with a lot of open land. It typically does not go further north than Colorado. The Southwestern Thunderbird has strangely jointed wings that resemble those of a bat. Like the Alaskan Thunderbird, it seems to have an average wingspan of around 10 to 15 feet. The wings are mostly, if not entirely, featherless and are covered in dark leathery skin. The rest of the body is covered in coarse black or brown feathers. Its head is triangular in shape, with a short, broad, yellow bill that comes to a sharp point. This beak hints that the southwestern thunderbird likely eats seeds supplemented with fruits and vegetables. The southwestern thunderbird tends to ignore humans in general, preferring just to glide by peacefully. This thunderbird specializes in gliding and does not fly very quickly in general. It often cups its wings in flight to catch the wind more easily. Scientists think the southwestern thunderbird is actually a condor of poor feathering or perhaps a vulture instead. Both birds are very large gliding birds with unusually jointed wings. Locals say that condors and vultures have curved beaks, not flat beaks. They also note that the thunderbird did not fly the way a condor or a vulture would fly and that the wings are too bare to be either kind of bird. It also was bigger than a condor or a vulture in general. The Pennsylvanian, or Eastern Thunderbird as I will call it, is like a hybrid between the other Thunderbirds in appearance, but not in behavior. Its range extends from Pennsylvania to West Virginia following along the mountains. The Eastern Thunderbird is most commonly seen in central and western Pennsylvania, that has seen as far west as Illinois. It prefers wooded areas and seems to gravitate towards power plants and electrical grids. This Thunderbird has an eagle-like face with a dark brown beak. It is covered in sleek feathers ranging from dark gray to black or deep brown. The feathers thin out along the wings, showing the same dark skin as on the southwestern Thunderbird. The wings have bat-like joints and are used mostly for gliding, but the Pennsylvania Thunderbird seems to be more agile and swift than its southwestern cousin. Its wingspan averages around 15 feet. The eastern Thunderbird is a scavenger, but it will hunt if no food is found. Unlike other Thunderbirds, the eastern Thunderbird has been known to attack humans. It especially targets small children and will attempt to carry them away. The eastern Thunderbird is also very vocal. It has a strange shrill, ah, rah, rah, cry. Scientists think that the eastern Thunderbird is actually an eagle. Eagles are known to be large, aggressive birds and have attacked humans before. They also scavenge when food prevents itself. Locals insist that the Thunderbird is much too large to be an eagle. It also has the wrong kind of wings and makes a completely different cry than the sound an eagle makes. The earliest reports of Thunderbirds came from the southwest. As early as 1890, people in Arizona and Texas were reporting massive birds with bat-like wings. The most active Thunderbird at the time of this video is the Eastern Thunderbird, with multiple sightings within the last five years.